Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Meta 19 video. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your day. Hopefully, it's going smooth and fantastic for you. And if it's not, I do hope that perhaps this video could bring a little sunshine to your cloudy day and turn that frown upside down, baby. So, uh, today we're going to go ahead and talk about pack odds in this game. So, uh, I posted a video, I think, at some point early last month i believe it was last month to where ea had said they're going to start disclosing their odds of pulling certain percentages of whatever cards may be in their packs and they're actually here they're installed in the game so we're going to take a look at that uh, maybe you guys didn't know uh, and uh, we're going to showcase the odds of the packs how to do it and you know let's just go ahead and see uh the type of probabilities we have so let's just go to a, a silver pack right here uh get a player pack 500 coins you see at the bottom there's a view info button right there's a to buy b to cancel and then there's y so for every pack if you hit the y button it gives you a probability uh chart pretty much so minimum probability of getting one or more players of the overall range or described category in this pack the contents of this pack are dynamically generated and probabilities are verified using a computational simulation. C.com MUP pack probability for more details. So right here, it shows 100% probability that you will get a 62 overall plus or better card. So you're guaranteed at the minimum a 62 overall player. So you can open 1,000 packs of these, you will never get below a 62 overall. You get a 30% chance of pulling a 66 overall or better you get a 8.3 percent chance of pulling a 70 overall or better card and you get a 3.7 percent chance of pulling a 72 or better card so those are the probabilities of that so let's go to let's say a gold player pack right so uh, we're going to go ahead we're going to hit a we're going to hit y for view info and right here it shows you a hundred percent chance of getting 70 overall or better 12% chance of getting an 80 overall or better. 5.9% chance of getting an 82 overall or higher. And a 3.9% chance of getting an 83 or above card. So, obviously, these will change. These, these are the probabilities now. Um, let's say a month before Madden 20 comes out. I'm sure that 3.9 will turn into like 57 and the probability of pulling a 99 overall car will be 3.9. You know, it, it'll go down. <laughs> but as of now, according to this, if you opened 100 packs, you will probably get an 83 overall or better card about four times. That's about it. It's not guaranteed but you should at least get it about four times. Yeah, it's 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 a probability thing. But those are what the odds are. You know, uh, you get a twelve percent chance of getting a an elite card. Twelve percent chance. So if you purchase a hundred of these, you sh you get a twelve percent chance of you get about twelve of them. You know, so that's it, it's nice to see. Like we all knew what the odds were. Um, they're usually pretty bad, but now we, now that they, you know, openly show them, we now know what, what the chances are. So, um, it's just crazy to see that they're that low to get an 83 overall or higher card is a 3.9 chance. I'm not sure how many cards are 83 or higher, but however many they are, you got a 4% chance of getting them 4%. That is extremely low. All right, let's go to the uh, gold player pack. Did I show these already? Uh, I don't think I did. So you get a 9.7% chance of getting an 80 overall. You get a 5% chance of getting 82 overall and a 3.4% chance of getting a 83 overall. So out of this pack, your odds decrease of getting uh, an elite card from the uh, gold player pack, you got a 12% chance. And here, you got a 
three percent chance, whatever, a little less than ten. So um, you can go ahead and slightly increase your chances of getting an elite card uh, with this one. Let's look at the elite player pack. Let's look at the odds for this one. So getting an eighty overall card or higher is a hundred percent chance. Getting an eighty-three overall is a forty-two percent chance. Getting an eighty-six overall is at 11%, and getting an 88 plus is at a 3.1. So the gold player pack, your chances of getting an elite was 12%. Your chances of getting an 83 overall was just 3%. So getting an 83 overall from this pack is 3%. Getting an 83 overall from this pack is 42%. So that's a drastic change. That's that's drastic. You know, you're very likely to get an 83 overall or higher card uh, out of the elite player pack than you are the gold player pack because you're guaranteed an elite. So that makes sense on why, you know, those odds change. Then we have, um, what other pack do we have? The gold premium pack. Let's take a look at this one right here. So the gold pre premium pack, you get a 20. 8% chance of getting a 80 overall. You get a uh, almost 10% chance of getting 83 overall or higher. Then you get an 85%, I'm not 85%, that'll be nuts. 85 or higher card, it's at 3.5%. So because there's two gold cards or higher in this pack, your chances of getting elite cards more than double right because the uh this pack right here where you're guaranteed one elite card or higher getting an elite card is 12 percent but when you open this pack you get two golds or higher and your chances go from 12 they more than double to almost 30 percent so that right there is a probability of a premium pack and then right here i think um Getting an 85, oh yeah, you, it's just the same stuff right here. So that right there is the probability. I think it's, it's cool that they show that. Um, I think they will be updated throughout the year. Like, there's no way throughout the year, you know, getting an 83 or higher is going to be at a 3 point something percent out of a uh, gold player pack. Because obviously as the year goes on, more and more 80 overalls are going to be thrown in the game. There's going to be tons of more 83s overalls that will be thrown in the game. So with the probability of them being way more gives you, you know, a way higher chance of being able to pull them and whatnot. So uh, that's just, uh, you know, uh, something that they added this year, which I believe is for the first time in Madden for you to be able to go on ahead and take a look at uh, an odd and, uh, see what they are and again they are extremely low like you get these packs right here like uh, if they release uh 91 overall limited card your chance of getting that is just eh, it's just low is it's just very 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 low you know you get these cards you want the julio jones you want the von millers you want the you know the best cards in the game and your probability of getting that is extremely low. Like, I pulled an Aaron Donald and a Bobby Wagner out of these packs. And I got that at a 3.1% chance. So that was lucky, right? It's just luck of the draw. And not to mention, there's not too many people that have the game right now that are able to open packs. So my chances definitely increase because, you know, I got the full game through Madden Rewards way before you know a lot of people before the public basically i'm not sure how many people got the game through madden awards but there can't be many probably less than like a thousand maybe or maybe a thousand. i'm not sure how many but um we do know there's going to be over a hundred hundreds of thousands of players that will jump into ultimate mode at least once and um you know the odds will probably be a, you know maybe a little less so my odds even though the probability of 3.1 is lower it's low uh, the chances of me being able to get a good card is, uh, I would like to think, you know, just higher because there's not too many people opening packs right now. But, um, again, if you ever want to look at odds, man, once again, you would click on any single pack that you want. 
you hit the Y button for view info, and it just gives you, you know, a, a list right there. So once again, uh, like we're taking a look at the uh, player pack, and getting a gold card is less than 9%. Less than 9%, less than 30% of getting a, a high silver, you know, like right here, a gold player pack. Getting an elite out of this is 12%. 12%. So once again, for those of you with bad math, if you buy 100 of these, you're probably going to get 12 elite cards out of 100. That's a lot. I mean, that's not a lot, a lot of elites. Like, that's a lot of packs for you just to get 12%. Let's open up one pack right now. Let's YOLO. For the, for the, for the culture. We know we're not going to get an elite. We have a 12% chance of getting an elite card. And that's just how the probabilities work. You know what, YOLO? We'll do two more. Why not? Matter of fact, no, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. It's the probabilities, man. It's the probabilities, man. Okay, you know what? One more and I'm done. One more and I'm done. Doing it for the culture. We're going to hit the reveal all. It's the probabilities, man. The prob <laughs> The chances of getting an elite card. Oh, snap. The daily challenges are, are there. The chances of getting an elite card... It's 12%. Man, that's that's so extremely low. You have no idea how low 12% is. Sheesh. Man, again, um, the the um, they're going to vary throughout the year once higher overalls get thrown in the game. Right now, at this very moment, you want 88 overall cards, right? Because those are like the big shebang shebang. You want 87, 88s. But as the year goes on, 87s become with like 80 overalls are now. You know, 87s are like, eh, you don't want to pull 87s. You want 97s. You want 98s. You, 87s are like nothing, you know? So as the year goes on and the player pool increases, it's just going to get tougher to pull, um, you know, a 95 overall cards when there's, you know, 1,092 overall cards, 1,091 overall cards, 1,090 overall cards, and you got all those probabilities of pulling those cards. And there's 10,080 overalls instead of there only being, you know, 75 since the game came out, you know. So, anyways, man, that's the feature. That's how you utilize it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Did you think it was that low? Did you think it was higher? Does that sound about right? I would love to know your thoughts and opinions, man. Leave that in the comment section below. It's your boy, GS, and we are going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.